Hello and welcome back, and today we are going to be reviewing my first Epic Evolution figure for some reason. The Wild War Great Pursuitus. So here, looking at the box, it's pretty nice. Got Jurassic World logo, the big logo. Name blue coloring, um, river buying, nice background, epic evolution, Jurassic World, nice thing on the back, other figures in the assortment, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, one thing, yeah, it's kind of crazy, I haven't gotten really any 2024 figures yet, just been buying, I, oh, I got BOTM Gorgosaurus, I've been buying, 2004 match the next day, so I just haven't really gotten much yet. I know for sure the Rixonotosaurus, like my mom's gonna give me as a present for the last day of school, and I think I'm gonna get the Megalo. I want the, or like, I want the Hesperosaurus. I feel like it'd be good for the Morrison formation, but really, due to without neck articulation, not that good paint. I don't think I may get just to save money. Anyways, on to the review. To start off with the coloration, we basically, it's got this nice navy, not navy, but dark blue. Then this tannish orange underbelly. Then there's a tinsy bit of brownish paint on the tail. And then you got a nice yellow eye though really wish there's pupil paint. Just like a nice black color can really make it pop. Please, Mattel. I understand how the stock market works that one dollar more of paint if you sell a million figures is a million dollars less of profit. But still, just give us the pupil, please. Then these nice. I really love what they've done with it. Rubber teeth. It, it looks so nice. Like the Sarker suit just had nice teeth. But this is just so much better. And then you aren't going to get teeth like this that are totally bad. They're going to stay nice and new forever. Yes, maybe this paint might scratch onto it. But it's going to be nice. Then inside it's this nice pinkish. Like really white pink. It actually look. I think because the light above me, the camera doesn't really show off how it looks. But anyways, then on to the sculpt. Like, start off, like I was just talking about the teeth. Really nice head, really nice teeth. It reminded me so much of a gharial. It's like, you can bump out the snout, they're really thin. And then, right here, you got some spikes with a nice bumpy head. And you got a nice neck. Lots of nice scaling. Actually, I just realized how good this scaling is. Got some ridges along here. A slider. Got, and then we got the tail, which gets into bigger scales. There's some bigger spikes. And then that's about it for the skull. For articulation, basically front legs go out like that. And then just a ratchet spin all the way around. Back legs are less prominent. Ah, sorry. Spin around, ratchet, spin around, and then go in and out. And then tail. Ah! Keep it. Mine, the tail won't pop it. Oh my. Oh. So it just spins like that. I don't know why Mattel adds that. Like, personally, for stop motions, I do end up using it. Just like that, to add a little more life instead of just... But still, like... Why... Why this? Why not give us actual... Good tail articulation? Like, I'm I'm just saying. I would much prefer a ball joint. Even just up and down, or side to side, I'd much prefer over this. Even not much. Like, I'm just saying, they waste money on a joint. Anyways... Getting into the action feature, because that's kind of... I really like the action feature. It's perfect. It's a good... Rawr! 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 
blah, blah, blah. Action, make sure that action works. But then also, it's perfect for posing. Like, like look. I'm never going to be able to get that on my circus suits. I have to, like, put something in there to hold it. That. Was this part of the action feature? Like, it's just really, really nice. I really love that about it. And surprisingly, we're, like, already through most of the review. And on to comparisons. To start off, we just got a simple human figure and raptor, because... Pretty much every day I'm sure every dancer collector has like at least one of those. Let's see, nice size. Not too big. Then on to the main comparison. Everyone wants soccer suits. Definitely a lot smaller. And legs. It's more standing up, it's more crouched down. Mouth, very, very smaller. It's definitely, and both have great, both are great toys. If you want, if you want to get a toy, like, if you're a standalone collector and just want to get a toy to pose, this one, because you can pose it like that. If you want to get a toy just to actually play with, this one, this one, for some reason the primal attack line has crazy durability, like seriously. My, I still, my Tarbosaurus, my Sarkar Suchus, my CS has never broken, other people I know, they have never broken. But like, and this, if you're gonna make a stop motion movie, this is awesome for puppeteering. So, overall, if just on your shelf, this is gonna work. And also, here it is with the blue Sarkar Suchus, cause, they have similar colors. Then, human collection car tours, because it's like the only other figure I have from 2024. The Irritator. This one's nice. Er, it's just a recent figure, because I don't have any other Epic Evolution figures. And it's cropped in. And final comparison T Rex. That one. Wants a T Rex. So, in review, I personally definitely recommend this for you. Really like it. And it's a decent price. So, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. You made it all the way to the very end of this video. I'm sure you would either like to subscribe or click on another one of my videos right, um, right up here. Okay, so, anyways, bye!